February K-Dramas 2024, The Month of Groundhogs, Seeing or Not Seeing Their Shadows, and Cupid's Arrows, Striking Romance, will be serving up viewers some supernatural, action, mystery, romance, and thrills, not to mention webtoon adaptations and more. So stick around to see what should be landing on your watch list. Number 1. A Killer's Paradox Another webtoon adaptation is landing at number one on this list and releasing with the anticipated air date of February 9th on Netflix. Here's a story where we follow our male lead, a seemingly ordinary college student who will discover his unique paranormal gift. Working as a part-timer, an accidental death takes place while he's on shift and by his hand. The person who dies is actually a serial killer. Our lead will discover that his gift allows him to single out the bad seeds, the worst of the worst among humans. He will rise up as a hero, where he will take it upon himself to punish those who committed terrible crimes. But the story will also bring in a detective who is hot on the case and perhaps our male lead's trail. With action, suspense, mystery, and thrills, a killer's paradox will be landing on our screen soon. Number 2. Wedding Impossible a comedic rom-com awaits us in Wedding Impossible, which is a webtoon adaptation which follows the story of our male and female lead as played by Jung Jung So and Moon Sung Min. Our male lead is a Shebol heir and our female lead is an unknown actress. While our male lead happens to be gay, he makes a fake marriage proposal to our female lead who decides to take up the offer. When our male lead's ambitious younger brother questions their relationship, things might get complicated having its fair share of drama, romance, and hilarious moments. Wedding Impossible is sure to be a fluffy, light-hearted K-drama to look forward to. Number 3. Branding in Song Sudong our male lead happens to live by the expression of you only live once, YOLO my friends, but now he'll find himself starting an internship where conflict abounds with his new boss who just so happens to be our female lead. They are at constant odds and will face repeated encounters through various workplace situations. While our female lead is a young successful marketing leader who is part of the main team, she rose up in the industry, gaining recognition as a legend, but entanglements and an unplanned kiss results in some charming, magical soul swapping where they switch bodies and will have to live as each other. A slight enemies to lovers with a supernatural romantic spark, this rom-com stars Kim ji Eun and Lo Mon. Number 4. The Impossible Heir a business K-drama infusing some moments of melodrama and set against wealthy backgrounds of a conglomerate family. One of our leads is an illegitimate son of a wealthy conglomerate. He'll team up with his childhood friend, and they both have high ambitions, the goal of dominating the top spot of business and society. Our main lead was born into a less fortunate and poor household, but he's blessed with a charming personality and attractive looks. His birth father is revealed to be a conglomerate, and our male lead will set his sight on leaving the world of poverty behind. At a young age, he and his friend start rising to the top, but trouble might also arise when the duo encounter another ambitious contender, our female lead. This riveting business drama may have some rags to riches themes, and stars Lee Jae Wook, Lee Jun Young, and Hong Soo Zhu. Number 5. Pyramid Game A brutal popularity poll voted upon by the students of Sarang High will set the school rank based solely by popularity. We have a new transfer student who will find herself at the very bottom. But the question is, will our female lead, who might not be as strong as the rest, be able to hold her ground? Or will she fall off from the pyramid? The drama genres include thriller and mystery, also psychological abuse, a cruel teacher, and school bullies. It seems despite the lessons learned in the famous drama The Glory, which was based around a true bullying occurrence, it seems that school bullying is still rampant, and K-dramas bring to light how dangerous these situations can be. 
hopefully a safe resolve, can be made available for students, where bullies will get served justice, swiftly and efficiently. Number 6. Mina, did you change your profile picture again? A romantic mini web series will follow the love life of our female lead, known as Imina, who is in her 20s. As the title suggests, she might be constantly changing her profile photo. The drama stars Kim Tae Young, Im Hyun Soo, and Lee Tae Hyung. This short slice of life story will also deliver home some relatable moments as Mina navigates her romantic moments. The drama is said to be a spin off of the original series Damn Good Company and is slated to air this February. Bonus Mentions Eczema, a supernatural thriller about Ji Guan, who is a shaman. The movie is also known as The Unearthed Grave. Dead Man Nightly Photo Studio A romantic supernatural is in store for us in Nightly Photo Studio, which stars popular Juwon as our handsome male lead, who is also a photographer. But not just any photographer, he snaps pics of the dead. He'll meet our female lead, played by Kwon Nara, who is a former prosecutor, but she's now jobless. Shortly after meeting, our female lead will take on the role sort of like a protector for him, as they face both life and death situations that will arise. This ENA drama is scheduled to release in 2024. Look at me. More thriller awaits us in Look At Me, a medical crime drama. Our male lead, a talented and not to mention handsome plastic surgeon who is famously known for his outstanding reputation and expertise. A particular incident will have him undertaking reconstructive surgery cases for crime victims. Meanwhile, our female lead is an upright and excellent detective who also shares the depth of warmth and kindness in her empathy for others. The drama is a pre-produced web series starring Yimin Gi and Han Ji Hyun. And that wraps our upcoming February list. Which drama are you looking forward to the most? You can let us know in the comment section down below. And we'll see you next time, MDLers!